Hello, my loves. Hope you are all doing well. This week, I think I owe you an apology in regard to our last video, which has been misunderstood by some of you. I think I might have pushed the storytelling a bit too far, and Remy received many messages asking him why we broke up and how he was doing. I feel the need to clarify that situation and tell you that me leaving was only a metaphor to illustrate that sometimes we have to walk our own paths in regards to our respective crafts and passions. We are still very much together and happy to support each other in all of our endeavors. As some of you know already, I've started to work on my art again here in Haida Gwaii. I've been painting three murals and I only want to do more before I leave. I love the bigger surfaces and how liberating it feels to have so much space to fill with colors. This week I decided to invite you into my creative flow and show you a bit more of the process behind my work. It actually never involved art in the beginning, at least not mine. My process starts outside of myself, into the world. My best idea sparks when I live an interesting life and when I push the limits of my own comfort zone. My muse always find me in the most random places and when I feel like inspiration runs out, it only means I have to walk out and live a bit outside of my studio. For the last couple of months I've been doing just that. Living my life to the fullest and traveling is filling my inspiration tank so much that I just couldn't help and found something to paint here. It's easy to feel creative in such a beautiful environment as Ida Gwaii. The colors, the fresh smell of the air, the sound of crashing waves and the sight of eagles and ravens floating in the wind. I take it all in. The mystery of the sea tickles my curious spirit and I dive into this pool of ideas, fishing out what I can lay down on a piece of wood or paper. Then I have a plan. The only thing now between me and my piece is the slight fear of beginning. Fortunately, I'm so familiar with this little resistance by now that I can conquer it without too much difficulties. And then, the magic starts. At first I basically just throw colors quite randomly, just to break into the white and get things moving. Pretty much all I'm doing now will be completely covered by the end and it takes the pressure off to begin in this loose and free way. While I work, I remember all the amazing things I've seen on a little boat ride we did last Sunday. I can still see how the light was creating beautiful contrast between the land and the sea and it gets my imagination going. Soon enough it takes the lead, and I find myself in the zone. I can spend hours in this state. My entire attention is focused on value and colors, composition and brushstrokes. This feels like home to me, and it is truly my happy place. This wouldn't be possible without these memories I collect and treasure, They are what builds my artistic muscles, and they are what gives meaning to my art.
What I like the most about being a painter is the way it changed my eyes forever. You don't see things the same way when you want to paint them. You systematically scrutinize your surroundings, seeking beauty in everything so you can translate that beauty in your piece later. It forces you to see the world in its most pristine state, and it slowly changes your whole perspective on life and what you choose to see. And the more you look, the more you find. You suddenly notice subtle shifts in tones, highlights on a cheek, colors in the white of the eye and a thousand different shades of colors in the leaves of a tree. The world is amazingly intricate seen through my eyes, trained by years of making art. So I can say I owe my creativity to the beauty of this world, but I also owe all this beauty to my creativity. They fuel each other. And they make me do my best work, both in painting, but in living as well. I am incredibly lucky for all the support I get in my artistic journey and these videos are also a product of both me and Remy's creativity. We are really grateful for all of you watching us every week. And until next time, have a beautiful week.